Stanford University. My name is Bill Newsom. I'm director of the Stanford Neurosciences Institute, and I want to welcome you here this morning. I'm just uh, setting the stage here, and I'll get out of the way very quickly so we can start in on this outstanding scientific symposium. Um, just as a way to update you on some news about the Stanford Neurosciences Institute, we have just finished our third year of operation, and the XCOM has tried to really have laser-like focus on the, the, the big three, our big three things we've been focusing on here in the first three to five years are people, research, and facility. And we're making progress on all three fronts. Uh, on people, we have hired three new junior faculty at this, at this point. And one, Dan Yamins, has actually started his faculty position. He started September 1. He has a background in computer science, but his faculty position is actually in psychology. And I think Dan will be joining us later. I don't see him in the room right this minute. Uh, Paul Nuyukian uh, has accepted a faculty position in bioengineering. And I think I saw Paul a moment ago. He's around, there he is, right here. And, and he welcomed Paul, and, uh, and Paul is in bioengineering, but he also has a foot in the clinical world, uh, and so we're delighted to have him starting his faculty position in April. And then I'm delighted to announce that we've hired Julia Kulchmitt, uh, who's a molecular neuroscientist who does uh, development of spinal cord circuitry and very precise, elegant molecular experiments, and she, she will be joining us sometime in the spring as well, I believe. Uh, we are investing in people at all levels. Uh, we, as all of you know, we are conducting an annual uh, round of postdoctoral awards, two-year postdoc fellowships for postdocs who have training in one field uh, that's of relevance to neuroscience but want to get cross-training in another field and can make an argument for their interdisciplinary uh, plan of training and research. And we will be, uh, we've received, we've just received the applications on September 1st for our third round of postdoctoral awards. And we will announce five new winners by the end of fall quarter, and that'll be great. Uh, in graduate work, uh, we're working together with the development office to raise funds for uh, Stanford Interdisciplinary Graduate Fellowships. And we've raised nine thus far for uh, interdisciplinary neuroscience in particular. And we just appointed the two new uh, SNI, uh, Stanford Neurosciences, SIGF winners, who were Kevin Gutenplan, who I believe I saw here this morning, and Kia Hardcastle, yeah, there's Kevin back in the middle, and Kia Hardcastle, who I believe will join us sometime during the day today. So we're making investments in people at all those levels. Uh, in research, we're very excited that we are in the midst right now of the review process for uh, round two, phase two of the, our big ideas in neuroscience research projects. Uh, we've had seven teams busily at work in sort of phase one, an exploratory phase, to see if we can really make these cross-school, cross-departmental, uh, larger teams work. Uh, and we have received progress reports and new proposals for phase two. We have assembled an excellent review committee, none of whom are involved in any of the individual big ideas projects. So we're trying to be squeaky clean here about conflict of interest. And that was a challenge because we have so many faculty involved in big ideas. It was actually a challenge uh, to get independent reviewers, but we've, we've done that. And we will be announcing uh, those, those uh, winners, um, you know, the three may before that will advance to phase two uh, by the first of the year, shortly after the first of the year. So that's going really well. We're also doing the smaller seed grants, as most of you know. These are like the BioX seed grants, uh, except that they are focused directly on neuroscience. But the idea is to allow a pair of labs from different departments, at most three labs, really try some novel new project. It's usually a project that a postdoc or a graduate student is, has conceived. They're typically well ahead of the PIs on things like this anyway. And, uh, you know, we're delighted for funding to go, uh, for this kind of funding, seed funding to go to uh, graduate, uh, graduate students and postdocs who are able to pull two PIs together on a, a project of real interest. And we'll be having another competition uh, in 2017. We're out of phase with BioX. BioX goes every other year and we go every other year so that there are uh, seed grant mechanisms available to all of you every year now. Uh, 
we are continuing to support our research cores in collaboration with the School of Medicine. We also have a program, the Stanford Program in Neuroscience and Society that's headed by Hank Greeley. And that the Stanford Program in Neuroscience and Society, of course, has this really convenient acronym, SPINS, uh, which is, you know, topical in this election season here. Um, the facility has been our third big emphasis. We have been through an extended planning process for the new building that will have engineering and biology and physics and chemistry labs in it. It'll be a real hotbed of um, interdisciplinary research. It will be a beautiful building. Uh, it will have a pub, uh, which, which uh, you know, we, we really need. I know this was the most popular one. We surveyed the neuroscience community about priorities for the building. That came in as the top priority. And if I ever have an honor for, uh, for having been the founding director of this institute, maybe that pub will be named after me when I die, posthumously. <laughs> Uh, we are, we have, we have been really focusing, our fundraising has really focused on the facility, on the building for the last year. Uh, we have very generous support from the schools of medicine, engineering, and humanities and sciences, and we are working very hard to get the naming, the last naming gift in place for this building. Uh, the plans are with the county, and as soon as we get that naming gift in place, we will be able to break ground on this facility, which I hope will be within the next few months. So if any of you have your checkbooks with you and you feel like writing a very large check, please see me afterwards and we'll, we'll make that happen. Uh, in terms of new things that you can anticipate for the coming uh, couple of years, you know, we, like I said, we've really focused very tightly on these three um, our, our three highest priority items. And in terms of new things that we're, the XCOM is thinking about, and we would appreciate your input on, actually, um, we, we would like to form some kind of outreach to undergraduates. Thus far, as you can see from what I've said, we've really been focused entirely on um, graduate level, postdoctoral level, faculty level research uh, and uh, recruiting of human talent, but we have a lot of undergraduates here at Stanford who are very interested in neuroscience, and we're thinking about some kind of lab um, participation program for undergrads in the summer, and perhaps even something more formal, starting some sort of club meeting or sponsoring some sort of neuroscience interest meeting uh, one month, uh, one meeting per month. And if any of you faculty or postdocs would be interested in helping us out with uh, with such an organization, please send me or any other member of the XCOM an email and we will we'll take that into consideration. Uh, we also would like to expand our outreach. I mean, our mission is to be campus-wide, and while we've really focused on the scientific disciplines thus far, we, we do have uh, relationships with the School of Education, uh, with the School of Law, and we would like to focus more uh, and have more outreach into the humanities, for example, and even into the business school. So if any of you are interested in that kind of thing and would be uh, interested in working with me or some member of the XCOM on that, please let me know. Uh, and then also, we uh, have heard a lot of suggestions from people that it would be good for SNI to have a retreat. Uh, to get people off of campus. This symposium is a wonderful event every year, but uh, some suggestions that an off-campus event where we have more time to really um, mix things up with each other uh, on a more uh, extended basis, uh, that that might be a really good idea. And so we're considering that, and if any of you have reactions to that, please get them back to me. So that's it in terms of updates for news of the institutes. And I just want to sort of kick off our symposium today by thanking the distinguished speakers who have come both from within Stanford and from without Stanford to provide our program. I think I said last year, and I'll just repeat it briefly here, that uh, you know the job of being director of the institute has very few perks. But maybe the biggest perk, the one I like the best, is being able to plan this symposium because with the input and advice from the XCOM and also input from many of you, uh, in the end, I get to shape this program to be the ideal program that I would really like to hear. And uh, that's, so I'm really looking forward to this today and I 
uh, am delighted with each of the six speakers we have. It's a fantastic set of talks. We will cover the neuroscience waterfront, all the way from molecular mechanisms of development and uh, aging, up through systems behavior of neural circuits and their relationship to behavior, and also how systems and circuit level insights can be applied in the clinic and modern treatment of disease, uh, all the way to public policy and how neuroscience can or should or should but is not or is in influencing drug policy in the United States, uh, and all the way to insights from artificial intelligence and possible relationships to biological intelligence. And Tom Dean gave me a little very quick sneak preview of that this morning. He says he's going to say something controversial today and leave plenty of room for question and answer so that we can discuss the controversial idea. So I'm really uh, uh, interested to see what that's going to be. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.